Akira in Toronto, Canada writes to me, I recently bought a Rotel 1592 something or other integrated amp rated at 350 watts per channel into 4 ohms. Okay. This unit has received rave reviews from the top YouTube reviewers calling it a Mac killer. Okay, I guess Macintosh? Uh, I'm not sure that's such a spectacular thing, but anyway. <laughs> Oh boy, here I go. The new reference standard. Sonically, the unit is excellent, but to my amazement, it would not drive my MagnaPan 3.7s. I switched to a 40-year-old Bryston 4B with a similar power rating, and the difference was shocking. The Bryston just grabbed the speaker with total control, while the Rotel and the Bryston share similar specs. The one thing that stood out was the Bryston's high damping factor, almost double that of the Rotel. I still don't understand what damping factor is, and I will explain it to you. Damping factor is the ability of the power amplifier to control the loudspeaker as opposed to the other way around. Your MagnaPans, MagnaPlaners, are a bit notorious for being a little hard to drive. And when an amplifier has a poor damping factor, it struggles to control the loudspeaker. And basically, damping factor is output impedance. The lower the output impedance of the power amplifier, the higher the damping factor. What's that mean? Well, if we take, let's say, notoriously high damping factor, uh, low damping factor, uh, amplifiers like vacuum tube amplifiers. They are notorious for having terrible damping factors. And that's because they use an output transformer and they're not able to deliver a whole bunch of current when they're required to. So they've got really low damping factor numbers. And that's because their impedance is high. Tubes aren't the best for power output. You always want, they're great for inputs, but not for power outputs. So what you want is an amplifier that can deliver a ton of current. That's the, the juice, the watts that come through. And while both of these amplifiers can deliver 350 watts into four ohms, what happens when that impedance dips down to three ohms or to two ohms? Because speakers, even though they're rated at four ohms, they're all over the map. They go up, they go down. They, you see an impedance curve of a speaker goes like this. Your amplifier, if it has a good damping factor, should say, I don't care. Uh, if that thing's going down, I'm going to just keep putting out the same amount of voltage. Because what happens is, if the damping factor isn't very high, like in the fact of your Rotel, as your MagnaPans dip down in impedance, the voltage, which is determining the loudness of that music into the speaker, is going to dip down because it doesn't have the current to provide, to keep that voltage up. And when the voltage drops, the volume drops. So on certain notes, you're going to have this wimpy, like, oh, you know, as it tries to push out, it goes, <laughs> it can't get it out, right? So <laughs> that's what damping factor is all about. The ability of the amplifier to control the loudspeaker, and that is all through impedance. The lower the impedance, higher the damping factor, the better off you are. Okay? Hope that helps. Thanks.